Hey everyone, Gobot here, back today with a brand new episode for MLB The Show 20 Relocation Franchise Mode here with the Arkansas Razorbacks who have again taken over for the Kansas City Royals in the American League Central Division. Currently at this point in the year, we are 19-12, and 12, beginning the new month of May uh, here in the season. So currently coming into this second month of the year, we have a two-game lead in the Central Division of the American League over the Twins. Um, so we're, we're holding solid right now. The Jays are winning the East right now. The West is led by the Angels, surprise, surprise, and the Rangers right there. So that's kind of a flip from what I expect. I love my Rangers, but heck, man, that's awesome right there. Um, I'm looking at the East for the National League. The Nationals lead by a half game. Cubs lead their division in the Central by two. And the Dodgers over the Rockies by two and a half games. Reds and Rockies lead the NL wild card. So here we are coming into this point in the season. I'm just, I'm just going to be scrolling through these league leaders. As you can see, Whit Merrifield's been playing really well for us. He's one of our top hitters out there for sure. Home run leader in the league right now is Olsen with 11, leading the whole league as a whole. Uh, so we got some good stuff going on for this team, um, but we did have an unfortunate injury last episode. If you don't remember, our ace out there who we acquired in a trade Yerman Marquez tore his rotator cuff, and that means he's going to be out for the remainder of the season. Uh, huge, huge pitcher for us. Be potential. 80, he's going to easily be one of our best pitchers going forward in this team. We acquired him trade from Colorado. Um, we had him on a four-year deal out, out of there, and he's gone. He, he's, all, he's off now for the rest of this year, which means we had to, to make some changes. Duffy moved back up to the ace role. Lopez now the two. Eunice has the three. Keller, and then... Kalish, or Kalish, I don't know how you say his name. Uh, he had to come in and be the four guy down here. Uh, but I am considering looking at our minor league system here. And we have Heath Thilmeyer, 24 years old. We also have Jesse Hahn, but he's a deep potential, so I'm not really interested in that. Uh, so I'm really thinking about moving up Heath Thilmeyer and dropping down Jake Kalish because the, the potential factor there. So that's what I'm looking at here today. You know what? Let's go ahead and just do that now. Starting pitchers, Sia, go down to AAA, um, Heath Thilmeyer, and then of course you also got Daniel Lynch here. He's 23A potential player. Oof. He's a double A baller though. But you got to look at those guys and say, hey man, do you want that chance? But I, I, you know what? Right now I'm going to move on with Heath Thilmeyer, give him that chance now, which means now it's going to open up a potential spot later down the road. Uh, so looking at the pitching rotation now, Phil Meyer, welcome to the show. Um, Triple A, where is he? Kalish, there you go. All right, Jesse Hahn, we're just going to move everybody around according to their stuff here. Okay, uh, so how are these guys doing down here, by the way? Just checking on them. Bolin's playing very great. Okay, good. Solid stuff overall. All right, so we got, we got potential with this team down the line here, but there we are. So let's get into the action today. I'm actually wanting to play with our new pitcher. Okay, I want to see how he does. Heath Fillmeyer's first ever start in the pros. I assume, maybe not the pros, maybe just this year. Uh, let's get into this game against Houston. We'll play that today as we're trailing 5-4 here. Super Cement, we get beat, dang. Another one we're trailing, 3-1, three to two, three to one, and we, golly, we came back. We got beat there in extras, and now six. So we, we're on a four-game losing streak right now. We're not playing well. Tied in the division with the Twins. We need to start playing better baseball. So let's get into this first game here. Heath Fillmeyer on the bump for the Razorbacks. Uh, we're going to be taking on the Houston Astros. But I appreciate you all so much for tuning in. If you enjoy today's episode, I'd appreciate the thumbs up. Let's try to get 30 likes on today's upload. Comment down below as always. And feel free to join in here at GoBotch Gaming. Subscribe to the channel and be part of this family. And help us reach towards our goal of 10,000 subscribers, ladies and gentlemen. Franco needs a break. Okay, we'll give him a break then. So, uh, help us join our join in our goals, and help us get up there to towards ten thousand subs, and that notification bell so you never miss an upload. So there you see your stolen base leaders in the AL, Mondesi leading the league, Marquez before the injury was leading the league, and ERA Kluber right behind him. Um, overall, this could be a good game though. Astros are playing better, better than they were for sure to start the season. Um, so here we are, home ballpark in old Texas. For these Razorbacks, getting ready to take on the Houston Astros. And I appreciate you all so much for being a part of today's video. I've been having an absolute blast with all of the content we've had here on the channel. Between this and our other Rangers franchise we have going on, our road to the show. Uh, 
We also have, of course, Madden 20 franchises going on with our Dallas Cowboys and now our Coach Mode franchise with the Buccaneers. UFC still ongoing, NBA still on. I mean, we got a ton of sports content here on the channel. Uh, let me know if there's any non-sports games you'd like me to play on the channel, and I'd be certainly into trying some of those out. Probably going to have some Fallout 76 stuff up pretty soon, too, maybe. We'll see. So let's get into the game here today. Phil Myers starting out against Brantley. And last year, you see, he, he had a couple starts last year, but he didn't play very well. So hopefully he can come in here today in a, in a crucial spot as the five-man of this rotation and, and, and fill into some, some big starting roles for us here. So here we go. 0-2 count. We can, we are, we're okay with him chasing a little bit here. And he crushes that one right field. It's still carrying, but it stops dead at the warning track. And let's just Puig makes the play. So one away. Bregman will now come to the plate. The silver slugging player from third base, I believe, right? Ooh, off the corner. That's a good pitch right there. Okay, we'll go down and away again here from the righty. And that one finds the outside part of the plate. Absolutely having a great time with this relocation franchise, y'all. I think it's an excellent feature that desperately does need some more features to it next year's game with the creating of a stadium and all. That needs to be a feature in this game next year. Uh, just to add more personal... Oh, shoot. That, that change hung, man. That was r almost right down the middle of the plate. That was dangerous. Got to be careful with those here on this Hall of Fame difficulty. Swing and a miss, though, over the slider. Phil Meyer gets his first K on the year here in the major leagues. Looking to fill into that five spot. Here comes Altuve. No trash cans, no dice, man. Let's go. And that misses far and away. Last, uh, he was the MVP back in the 2020, or 2017 year for Astros. And that's on the outside part of the play. Good curveball right there, man. I like his movement on that curve. Let's go away right here with it again. Mm, okay, a little low. That's fine. We'll come high and in right here with a four seam on you, my man. And this is well in, huh? Alvarez on deck. And that one is fouled off. We'll get out of play. Full the count. We're full. Here we go. High and away. 3-2. And that's up the middle. And that's a base knock. It's a two-out single for the Astros. As Altuve gets aboard. And I'll bring up Alvarez here to the plate. Really good player. Um, in our Rangers franchise, he was, I think, maybe the MVP or the... I don't know, one of the two. He, he had something. He had some sort of hardware he won for the Astros because he just crushed the ball all year long. And he just does the same thing there. A two-out single again. So it's runners now at first and second and just two away. <sighs> They're feeling me, man. Staying Astros lineup is just loaded with good talent. Springer now to the plate, batting 345 on the year. Inside sliders the call, and it floats, and that's gone. Dad gummit! Freaking Houston Astros, man. I just got to get the timing, man. The pitches miss so easily. You just miss a little bit with these guys that aren't great control pitchers. You're screwed. And here comes Guriel now. There you go. Good pitch. Get out of the dang inning. You're trailing 3 nothing already here in the top inning. And that's hit well. Hit deep. But we're there. Sides retired, but the, uh, the, the Razorbacks are trailing now on Guriel's three-run shot. Oppo Taco on it, man. We're going up against Urquidy, who has not played well this year. So hopefully we can light him up a little bit. We'll see it. Third baseman's playing in here, ready for a drag bunt situation. And we're on the first pitch, change up, fouling it off. He's been playing better the last, ga last nine games. You see that at three home runs, five RBIs. That's pretty solid stuff. 1-1 one, one count as that misses away. Come on. And change up again, fouled off. Just can't wait on it. 
One two here to old Adalberto Mondesi. Fouling off another one. That was a four seam that time. And that's hit up the middle. Altuve's got it. Altuve got us. Man. <sighs> so the two man, Nicky Lopez to the plate. One away to get started here today in the first inning. And there's that changeup again starting us out. That pitch is so tempting. Such a tempting pitch for us to hit. Yeah, not happening. 1-1 one, one count as the changeup misses low and in. One away here, down three. Oh, okay, I was... Mm. I kept waiting for that to drop. I should have just let that go. My bad. This is away. So it's 2-2 two, two count now here. One away here in the first. Fouls off the changeup. Just a piece of it as we're well early there. Man, you see how big his vision is? Holy freaking crap, Lopez. I mean, he won't miss much. Lots of change-ups from this guy early on here. 2-2 two, two again. Misses outside full. Merrifield on deck. We just need to get some base runners here, man. And that's a base knock. That's going to fly in and get down. Ooh. There is a single. As Lopez is on board. Good job. Good at bat there. Battling. Merrifield now to the plate. Been playing really good against right hand pitching this year. Fortunate for him. There's a righty on the mound. Ooh, okay. My bad, coach. 0 1. This is inside. 1 1 count. Two fastballs to start us off here. I'm surprised. You think you go change up at some point. There's a slider missing away. Kind of pitching around us a little bit. Kind of, sort of. Maybe a little. Ball three. Solaire's on deck. We have not played well with Solaire this year. We've really struggled to get him going at the plate. 3 1 now here to Merrifield. And dad gum pop up. It's going to fly it out as I missed that terribly with the PCI. That sucks. That's, I mean, you hate those things right there. You hate those little pop outs. So here comes Soler. He was the 2019 AL Home Run Champion. This year, only five to start through the first month of the year. Not playing up to snuff. Two out and a man aboard here in the first. Ooh. Okay, okay. I'll start high right here and just anticipate high, high fastball. God bless you, man. 0-2 count now, down. Come on, Soler. Let's get it going. Fouling off another slider. The only pitch I haven't seen from him is that two seam. Maybe he's thrown one. Oh my gosh, you got me again. Has he thrown any? He's thrown one two seam today. Mostly changeups and fastballs. Nine changeups, eight fastballs. 0 2 again. That's blah, 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 blah. Okay, well, we got to settle down. I don't play well with you, Solaire. I don't hit well with this guy. There's some players in this game, y'all, if, if you play the game, you probably are the same way. There's just some guys I don't swing the bat well with. I just don't see swing well. It's just one of those things, man. Like, for me, in my Rangers franchise, I hit the ball extremely well with Matt Duffy and Shinsu Chu, but I can't do anything out there with Miguel Sano or uh, Joey Gallo half the time. And maybe it's because they're power swingers. Maybe I really struggle with power dudes. I don't know what it is. Maybe y'all can relate. Maybe not. Maybe I just suck. Who knows? I'm not. I'm mad enough to admit it when I'm not good at a video game. And I know with this game, Hall of Fame difficulty may be a little bit more than I should be playing on. But whatever. We'll get better or get left behind, right? And we're just gonna try to get better. So, o two a one two again now here to Diaz. And ground ball. Mondesi. Mondesi, a cornerstone of this team we're going to try to build around. He's on a one-year deal. we got to re-sign him next year, which we, we had the funds to do such a deal. 
As we're right now, we're not in the sell mode with this team because we could be contenders in this division the way it's shaking out right now. We'll see where we're at in the All-Star break and by the time trade deadline does come about, whether or not we'll be buyers, sellers, or sitters. I'm partially thinking because of the trades we've already made, we might just be sitters. But if we start to suck it up, we may be sellers. We'll see. Certainly, I don't think we'll be buyers this year. I think, if anything, we'll trade just to get rid of people and build up the future of this Razorback organization. And that was bad. Okay, so that's a single with one away. My bad. My bad. All right, so here we go. He's going. Dang it. Good stuff. He had a great jump there. I didn't even anticipate the freaking steal. 0-2. Swing and a miss. Okay, down he goes, two away. Good. That's what we needed right there. We didn't let that base runner advance to third. Here comes Brantley. Oh, in the dirt. Gets by him, and that goes behind. And uh, unfortunately right there, that's a wild pitch. We just threw it way too low with the dirt. Good pitch. It's in. Strike one. So we're struggling a little bit with the command out here today. And that's mashed. And it's gone. Dang. He went and made that play at his knees, too. What a kid, what a what a hit from Brantley. Down five nothing here early. Ugh. I don't like the way this game's shaking out for Phil Meyer, man. I'm sorry. I thought you could come in here and be a, a great addition for us, but not with me pitching, evidently. I don't have any control. Down two, uh, to five nothing here in the second inning. There's a good curveball. There you go. Let's go low and away here. I'm going to take a little bit off here. Okay, I missed behind that right there. That's fine. Oh, boy. Holy crap, man. Curveball again. 3-2 count. Fouls it off. Staying alive. Smashed. Puig's got it. Out of the inning. Another home run given up. Brantley that time as this Razorback faithful crowd is now very quiet. And Puig will come to the plate to lead things off here for the Razorbacks. Trailing 5-0. Oh my gosh. O2. Not a good game, not a good start for us. Why am I swinging? I'm pressing right now, y'all. Oh my god. Perez. This is inside. 1 0. I've told y'all before, I don't hit well with this team. And y'all are seeing it every single episode right now. I can't hit with this dang Razorback team. Ooh, that, fool that fooled me right there. That fooled me quite a lot. 1-2 count here to Perez. The one away here in the second. Fouls off the slider, man. That didn't even touch anything. 2-2 two, two count. Fouled off the four, seam at the knees. We're just bad with timing. Very late on just about everything. This is inside there. Full count. O'Hearn on deck. There we go. Good hit. That's extra bases right there, baby. Maybe. Maybe. No, it's not. Not with Perez out there on the base pass. Holy crap. 17 speed. At least it's a base hit. Second on the game now for us. O'Hearn on the count. Now come to the plate. That was a good swing at it. This is way high there. 1 0. Two 
2-0 as I barely resist that pitch on the outside part of the plate. 2-0 count now to O'Hearn. Well, fouled that one off. Slider, that was a good one too. 2-2 two, two count to O'Hearn. And opposite field right to him. That was a good swing on it though. We were just uh weren't on it quite there with the PCI. Now I'll bring up Gutierrez. Come on, Kelvin. Wow. That slider, man. Righty to righty, that slider's snasty. Why you have no plate this one. I thought I tapped the button and wanted to check swing on. And he full on belted at it. 0 2 count. We're going to go down swing. I know it. Nope. Okay, good. Oh. So 1 2 here to Gutierrez. Oh, and he gets plunked on the inside shoulder. Ooh, that hurts. I'll bring up Phillips now to the plate. Two on, two out here against. Jose, what, I can't really pronounce his last name. This is well outside with a slider there. Last four, ten games has four home runs and nine RBIs. Phillips has been playing outstanding. That's great. Mm. I'm not hitting that fastball very well today, man. I'm very late on the timing, huh? 1-1 one, one count. Oh wow, good pot, good good pitch placement right there. One two to Phillips. Mm. Hang in slider. We were just early on that one. Very early on that one. Another one two coming. And that's hit center field shallow. That's nothing. Darn it. Nothing happening in that half inning. I thought we could get something to start going. So here we go. We're going to go to our super sim for the next two innings. One, two, three inning. And one, two, three inning. And... Okay. Dang, man. All right. Well, we still have Phil Meyer out there here in the fifth. Trailing still 5-0. Mondesi's got it. You get some by a half step. You should have thrown that a little bit harder there, Mondesi. Let's go. One away, Bregman to the plate. So after the terrible first two innings, Phil Meyer has settled in. But our bats cannot waketh up. We are getting shut down by Houston out here today. It's, it's hurting my feelings a little bit. Fouls that one off. Bottom you out with this curveball, man. If you swing at this, and he taps it back. And there it is. Two away. Good. Good, good, good. And here comes Altuve. Just low. 1-0. Let's try that again. Fouls that one off. High and inside fastball here to you, Altuve. And I miss. Holy crap. No. One, two. Got him on the outside part of the play. Strike three. Get out of here, Altuve. So down five. Here we go to the bottom half of the inning against a new pitcher. Ar Armenteros. Holy crap. What do you got? Okay, he's got your stereotypical pitches. Another, another righty out here. And we're late on that. Just shoot. A hanging slider. And we freaking botched it. Not hitting well with this squad. Minnie, get away with my crap. Like, any of y'all have cats that want to eat, devour your cords? That's my cat right now. Up the middle, base knot. Good stuff there. It was out of the zone, but I like it. I'll take it. So one away. And here comes leadoff man Mondesi to the plate. 
Here we go. We need a rally inning right here, guys. And there's another big swing at it. Shh. You kidding me? I mean, we're, these, these, these are the type of things I hate in this game. When you get beautiful swings, hard, squared up swings, and it hit it right to the fielders. Give me another base knock there up the middle. Let's go. So two on, two out. That's going to bring up Whit Merrifield. 0 for 2 on the day. Oh, bull crap, up. Screw you. Oh, I hate myself right now. That stupid freaking swing. Come on. Let's go. Settle down. Up the middle, right to him. See, that's the crap I'm talking about. Good, good. But we hit it right freaking to him. All right, I, I don't have patience today, right now for this matchup. Montgomery's in. Single, double. Okay, I'm going in. I'm going in. We got runners at scoring position here. I need to get going. Come on, O'Hearn. This is inside and low. This is the inning. We got to burst the bubble. We got to get some runs across home plate. Right up the middle. There you go. Coming home. Safe. It's a two-run single by O'Hearn. Let's go, baby. Let's go, O'Hearn. We roped that thing. So here we go with Gutierrez. The runner on at first and one away. 1 0. 1 0. Mmm, good pitch. No, get back, get back, get back, get back, get back. Two one count here to Kelvin Gutierrez. Ooh, wow. Bad recognition there. Well laid on the heater. I should I should always have my PCI right here just in case. And there's a ground ball double play to end the stupid inning. Are you freaking kidding me? Are you kidding me? Well we got we got two back. It's now a manageable game here, Montgomery. Pitching. Hopefully you can continue to settle in here and get going for us. Uh, you're a crap ump. You're such a crap ump. Give me that call. You're calling them all sorts of borderline pitches, and you won't give me that? Yeah, suck it. That's all i got to say. I'm going to peg that ump in the face with this ball. <sighs> Sinker ball. Okay, right here. Swing and a miss. Good stuff. Let's go low with the curve here. And he fouls it off. 2-2 two -two again. Good eye. Tucker on deck. Fouled off. Golly! These guys killing me, man. All right. Let's get a ground ball double place. What you say? What you say? You called that a strike earlier. I'm, I'm serious. These umps suck in this video game. They're terrible. 
Give me a benefit freaking call. 2-1. Foul ball. 2-2. Two -two. Well, that was a terrible pitch, Montgomery. Wow, you suck, man. Your freaking control is garbage, Montgomery. I see why you're not in the starting rotation. You're terrible. You miss a little bit right there, and it drops like a freaking bomb. There you go. Double play, baby. Out of the inning. Or not out of the inning, I guess. I, oh, I could have had a triple play possibly right there, guys. Yeah, I know what Brantley did earlier. Call the strike, ump. Yep. Yep, here we go. Okay, we got one over. God bless it. Bregman on deck. We can't not challenge him. Ground ball. Got him. Let's go. All right, out of the inning. Got to go to the bottom of the inning now. Got to get somebody up in the pen and out of there for this guy. This is Davinsky. And here comes Brett Phillips. The bullpen. Got to start getting stirred. We're going to get Greg Holland ready to get going. All right, we know Davinsky throws fire. This is inside with a slider. 1 0. And this is outside. Change up. 2 0. Oh, bull crap! You didn't give me those calls earlier! You serious? 2 1. Early on the off speed. Dad, gummits. 2 2 now here to Phillips. Thank you. Okay. Full count. Mm, good pitch. Got me right there, man. One away. Lead off, man. Mondesi to the plate. 0 for 3 today. Blech. Garbage. 1 0. No, sir. You ain't getting me with that, that change up, man. Let's go. 5 2 deficit here in this game. Foul that one off. Man. Is he throwing one in the strike zone yet? Nope, he has not. Should be a 3-0 count. Set him down 1-2 because I have no plate discipline. There's the first one that would have been, maybe. Possibly. Hmm. Unfortunate. All right, Lopez. Ball one. Wow. 97 and I wasn't even ready. 1-1 one, one count. This is well outside and low there. 2-1. Lopez the only one really doing anything out there. Two for three on this day. And a chop went back to the pitcher. Tough play for Altuve to make. He does. And he gets us. Innings over there. Well, we're going to go ahead and go quick manager. Kennedy out of the pin. Let's see if they can do something. Nothing. Nothing. Double. Hey. Strikeout, of course. Okay. Ninth inning down three. Double. 
Oh my, oh my gosh. Well, that's just fortunate. So we lose the game. Suck it. Got beat. I don't care. I, I, yeah, I don't freaking care. I hate the Houston Astros. Bunch of cheating some scumbags over there. I'm not going to be unabashed about it. I'm a Rangers fan. It's a travesty is what that team is. So we get beat by the trash bags. And uh, now let's move on to the remainder of this series and simulate through. We're going to do a little bit of simming. We're on a tear of a losing streak right now, y'all. Holy crap. We got beat one nothing there. Things are not boding well. We're now down a game in the division because, thankfully, Minnesota is struggling. So let's do a little bit of simulation here. Oh, gosh. Oh, my Lord. Completely blasted, man. We are on a tear. We have all these injuries starting to pile up. Oh, my gosh, guys. Well, look at the month of May. We are 1 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 1 and 11 to start the month of May. And now in the division, we are down to next to last place at four and a half back in this division. One and nine of our last ten. We are falling off, y'all, but we're going to go ahead and continue to sim uh, for today's episode. 4 3 win over the Dodgers. Uh, four, two to one loss there, tight one. A nine to two win. Hey, you guys, there you go. I wanted to get to this Texas series, and that's where we're going to play the next video, uh, next game here on the channel. So, 6-6 six, six game here. Soler to the plate. Let's go ahead and jump into this, okay? Let's might as well, okay? We have some time. We haven't had a very long episode overall. Now third place in the division right now. You see how we're doing as a team. We're really struggling offensively and pitching-wise. We're just not... Our numbers across the board are not good. The Rangers killing it there. Kluber and Lyles murdering as pitchers out there. Fantastic for them. And we're going to get ready to play them in the next video. So here comes Soler to lead off this ninth inning in a tie game. And we're first pitch swinging again. Because that's what I do. And there's one away. I just, me and Hall of Fame difficulty have not meshed. Two for three now. Salvador Perez will come to the plate. What do you throw? What do you? Th what's your primary? I mean, you saw. I see that curveball. So your curveball is your main deal. I'll just keep aiming it low here and anticipating curveball. I guess if I have to pop up, I will. There it is, and it will bleed through for a single. So the leading man now on. We need to get him out of there right now. Yeah, no, no, no. Manager, subs, uh, first base. Who do we got that's speedy? Nobody. Holy crap. The best guy out there is Puig. I'd like to save him for a at-bat, possibly. So let's just go with, uh, I guess, Gutierrez. I guess. He's better than what we already have out there. I want to save Puig for an at-bat if we need him. You know what? I, I'm okay with using Puig now in this situation. Pinch hitter. Puig. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. One on, one out. And you love that off speed, baby. He loves it. And we're just sitting here waiting. Oh, man, he still got me with it. 0-2 count. Oh, good eye. Good eye. Oh, this Razorback team just needs to start get a, a upward trend going again. Seeing how badly we've been playing in the month of May. April was fantastic. We, we played really good ba baseball in April. Uh, leading the division, but May so far, y'all, has just been a travesty. It's been a nightmare. Ground ball, that was slipped through. We're going to have the leading run at second, two on, and, no, and one away here. Oh, boy. And that will bring up Pareto, who's two for four. And he's going to line one, and it will get down. It's fair, and that's going to bring in... The go-ahead winning run here. 
for Arkansas. Six, seven. Your scores, Gutierrez scores. Prado, or Prado, whatever you want to call him. He gets the go-ahead single. And we walk it off here today. Bubba Starling, the player of the game for these Razorbacks. Three hits and four at-bats. Scored twice and had an RBI as well. As we get a big win there today. Gotta love it. Tim Hill with a win. So big win there for our, this Arkansas squad as we win that thing. We gotta love it. You gotta love to see it, y'all. So we got the win. Um, now... To get ready for this Texas series. Oh my gosh, look at these guys. Texas is 28 and 21. Who knew? The Angels are 28 and 20. So let's get into this last game in today's episode. We're not going to play this game outright. Uh, what we're going to do today for the last bit here is we are going to go quick manage. Something I like to do from time to time. All right, let's get into it. Finale game of this series. Phil Meyer, who's been struggling on the mound. Here we go. Okay, got out of the jam. We got nothing going there. They got two on, no one out. Oh, boy. Oh, three-nothing deficit. Fletcher's on. Lead-off man. Okay. Never mind. Okay, there you go, Lopez. Lead-off doubles. Goes over to third. Two-run blast by Soler. Cuts this lead down to one. Puig is aboard. He's going to steal second. Perez grounds out. Fly out, of course. Double by Marsh. Scores from Vlastella. Another run in. Single by Franco. Crap. Okay, you're out of there, dude. Kennedy, come on in, buddy. No, is he the closer? Whatever. He just allowed a home run. Bottom of the seventh. We're down six to two here, and our bats suck. Uh, let's go to Holland now. Come on, bats. Ninth inning, down four. We get a leadoff single. Another single. Two on, nobody out for Puig. Strikeout. Walk. The bases are loaded, ladies and gentlemen, and we're going to enter the game. We're in the division now. Down four games. Four, four and a half back from the wild card. So we're, we're closer in our division than we are the wild card. How about that? Uh, looking at this year, we just the pitching's not been there. It really hurt us with our with our ace going out for the rest of this year. The injuries that really killed this team. That really did kill us. So here we go. Down four. O'Hearn at the plate against the closer, Butry. And he hits it high. Hits it deep. Out of here, Grand Slam. <laughs> the side of the game. How do you like them apples? O'Hearn with his 10th on the year. Ties this game up here. In the bottom of the ninth inning. In grand fashion for this Arkansas squad. Wow. That's fantastic. Yeah, take that, Madden. What a blast, y'all. It wasn't a no-doubter, but it carried out enough here in this ballpark. You see the fireworks going off. You'll love it. You'll love to see it. Chance to walk it off now, guys. Opposite field. That's going to carry and get out of play. Franco. Uh, I need to make sure the bullpen's stirring here. We have nothing going on. Tim Hill, um, I guess, will get you going just in case for an inning. 0-1 count here for Mikhail Franco. This is outside. One, one count. Man, fantastic series here against these Angels, though. The best team in the American League West, and we're giving them everything they can take. And that's a high hit ball. Franco! He's going to walk it off, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Santa Maria. Seventh on the year. Back-to-back -back jacks by the Razorbacks. And we end this solemn episode on a high note today, ladies and gentlemen. As this Arkansas team who's been struggling in the month of May comes into the series against the AL West leading Angels. And with a high bit of momentum will lead this now into the series against the Rangers, which we'll pick up for the next episode. A grand slam to tie it and a walk-off solo shot to win it. Wow. 
Unbelievable right there. Great stuff. I love it. I love the resilience here by this team to come back and win this game. Unbelievable stuff. And Solari player of the game. Um, wow, what a game. 7-6-5 in the ninth to win it. His Butri comes in there and he completely botches it. And they get beat. And I am all here for it, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know down in the chat what y'all thought about that. Uh, exciting ending today's episode as we now are finally getting going. We've won four out of our last five and six or, or wait, five out of our last seven, four out of our last five, playing good baseball now, finally to get going here towards the end of the month and getting ready to go up against these Texas Rangers. We're now 25 and 25 on the year on the division that sits us three and a half back uh, as the Astros now lead the AL West, y'all, because of what we did to those Angels. Uh, so interesting stuff here. We're not out of this at all by any way, shape, and or form. But I appreciate you all so much for tuning in here today. If you enjoyed today's episode, even though started off pretty crappy, ended strong, very, very pleased with the way this Razorback team climbed back and won that series there against the Angels. But if you enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up button. Comment down below as always and hit that notification bell so you never miss a single upload. And feel free to join in here at Go Watch Gaming and subscribe and help us reach our goal of 10,000 subscribers. But thank you all so, so much for tuning in here today for another Razorback episode here for our relocation franchise here in MLB The Show 20. You all have an outstanding rest of your day as always. Stay safe out there, ladies and gentlemen, and we'll see you back here in the next video. Y'all take it easy.